Hello folks, Photo Bob here behind the camera today. So I dropped my other camera and it's broken and it's been shipped back to uh, DJI to be repaired. Hopefully that'll be repaired. Um, they should be receiving it on Friday. I shipped it out Monday. I don't know where it's going, but you know, they gave me a shipping label and I sent it off to get it repaired. So let's talk about I'm going to do a quick little video here today. What I got here is a shelf. Um, I built this shelf out of uh, reclaimed pallet wood. The pallet was made out of oak. It's a little less than uh, three quarters of an inch thick. And uh, basically each pallet had three boards like this that are about six inches wide. And three boards like, I'm sorry, three boards like this one that's about six inches wide. Maybe it's only five and then um, three boards um, of this that's about two and a half, three inches wide. And I made this shelf and uh, all I did, I didn't do a lot to finish it. Just um, took a, a random orbital sander, sanded it down, knocked the rough edges off because it was very rough. And uh, took my router, put a chamfer on here, 45 degrees. And then I took my uh, sander and sanded that. So it's not quite as much of a chamfer as uh, uh, you would think, but it, it was just too splintery to, uh, to uh, leave it that way. So I had to sand it down, smooth it out. Then once I uh, put it together, what I did is I put um, screws that come up from the bottom into, the, into this uh, back rail secured that and then just put two screws in here and I also have some L brackets underneath here but uh, one on the other side I didn't put one in the middle so anyhow it's you can see there's holes in it it's reclaimed that's where this was nailed to this and uh, then once I uh, put it up here I, I have some uh, pure tongue oil and I mix that with uh, mineral spirits. They call it paint thinner. You can find it on Walmart shelf as paint thinner. It's mineral spirits. And I uh, mixed it one to one. So about one ounce of uh, tongue oil, 100%, and one ounce of, of uh, mineral spirits or paint thinner. Mixed that together. Then I did a uh, hand rubbed finish, just took a rag, rubbed that finish in. I put three coats on it, looks very nice. Good enough for what I'm gonna use it for. I have a Bluetooth speaker here in this middle, and I put holes, I drilled these holes, three of them in the back for cords to stick through. And so up here is where my Bluetooth speakers plug is. I'm going to get a uh, power strip for here. This is going to be for a charging station for like my my phone, camera, stuff like that. Let's plug the Bluetooth in. So now what I did, I designed that hole so that that cord, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but that's not enough light down there. So that cord goes right into that hole and the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth can hang out right behind there. That's it. And uh, let's recenter this thing. There we go. So that's it. I also wanted to talk about mice traps or a mouse trap. And uh, that's the mouse trap I'm talking about. And Wrangler Star had a problem with uh, his van, his adventure van is getting mice moving in. So it's starting to cool down out there in the West and they probably smell some of his adventure foods that were cooked inside there. and. They're finding a home inside of his van. 
and I've had the same problem or a similar problem, not with an adventure van, but my automobile, the mice like to get in my automobile and they like to build a little nest inside the uh, cabin filter box. So I like to catch them before they get into the car. So, you know, what I do, I have a mouse trap right there. It's not set. I'm going to have to reset it. But um, that's right there at the opening of my garage door. And they'll come. I don't even bait these traps. But they'll come in here and step on this yellow pad and whack them. And uh, they're dead. When you set your mouse trap, you know, set the trap, hold it back here. And then if you're going to put these in your house or in your garage, don't stick them in the middle of the floor. Don't stick them in the middle of the bottom of the cabinet. Um, mice are basically blind. They can't see, but they can smell really good. So um, what you want to do is mice will run along the um, edge of a room. And then they'll go around. So like if you had a doorway, like I showed you over there with my other trap, you can use that doorway as a pinch point and you know, they'll funnel in right along the edge of that door. So um, what I do is find places where they run and I set the trap. I don't even bait these traps. Just get the one with the big yellow pan. I'm gonna put a link in the video to weave these traps on Amazon. The ones that have the copper um, connection in the middle, they're okay. They work, but Wrangler Star was saying they don't work. And he's right, they're not as good as maybe that other one. He had a plastic one there. I don't know about that one. I bought plastic ones at Walmart and they weren't very good for me. Let's just put it that way. So I had better luck. I've had great success using these traps and setting them along the baseboard and having the mouse come along and just run across that and get whacked and it kills them. So that's my advice on how to set a mouse trap. I'll put a link in the uh, description it's going to be a bitly shortened link to Amazon. Just go there, see, you get, I, this is a link that will provide 12 traps for 10 bucks. So I think that's a pretty, less than a dollar a trap. And uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. I usually buy them, sometimes they don't have them at Walmart like this. I found them over at a local uh, hardware store that's run by the Amish. They've always had these ones with the yellow tray. Um, if you want, you can put a little bit of bait on them, but I don't think it's necessary if you set them the way I uh, described in this video. I'm not an expert at extermination, but I do have a lot of uh, mice and uh, other uh, uh, critters around here that need to be exterminated, and I've become pretty good at... Um, catching them so yeah that's my uh, mouse trap uh, feed for today you know they got a two hundred dollar or a hundred dollar mouse trap and you know that's really nice but I can think of I can think of other things I'd rather spend a hundred dollars on than a mouse trap so I can buy a hundred of these for a hundred bucks well actually more than that because I could buy uh, ten I think 120 of them for a uh, hundred bucks. So off of that Amazon link. So yeah, that's just my advice. That's just my opinion. Um, give it a try. Let me know how it works. Hey, if you have a better way of catching mice, put it down in the description. Hey, if you have a, a better idea for uh, making a shelf, put it down in the description. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, tell me hello, and uh, if you thought this video was worth anything, I'm still working on another video for uh, doing my uh, 
lawnmower blades on the uh, Kubota BX1850. I'm still working on that for the request that came in for that. Um, I've just, um, sometimes I start one project and then get distracted on another one. So I apologize and I'll have that up maybe later this week. I'll try to put this video up to uh, see. Do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe, and share this with your friends.